We finally got it. CRV USD is finally live. And uh, it's something that we've all been excited for for a long time. I'm sure most of you watching, myself included anyway, huge, huge fans of Curve Finance. I use Curve all the time. I use derivatives of Curve in the form of Convex and various other protocols around built on top of Curve. I think Curve is important for DeFi. It's pretty much one of the main hubs where liquidity is. And finally, they've released their stable coin. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go through uh, just briefly some of the mechanisms behind it uh, and just sort of just talk a little bit about, about CRV USD, which um, we've all been waiting for for a long time. Uh, first of all, let's just talk about how amazing <laughs> this dollar is. The one CRV USD, honestly, take all my dollars convert them into CRV USD already. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, what we're gonna talk about, how does it work? So they have this uh, mechanism called Llama, um, and uh, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it because some of it goes over my head as well. Uh, but essentially, this is a stable coin which is backed by ETH, but it doesn't have to be just ETH, can be a variety of other collateral. Uh, the first initial uh, CRV USD in circulation right now is actually backed by staked Frax ETH. So, you know, we've, we know there's a good relationship between the Frax team and the Curve team there. So essentially, how does it work? Well, you've got your ETH or your staked Frax ETH, or maybe you've got your three Curve LP pool, which consists of Bitcoin and Tether as well, uh, as well as ETH. Uh, and you basically take, take these tokens, you know, whatever collateral they're kind of offering uh, and you kind of put it into Curve and borrow CRV USD against it. Now, this is like many other stable coins like MakerDAO uh, with DAI or various other stable coins as well. Very similar model. Now, we'll talk about some of the flaws with the other models and kind of why CRV USD is much better. But essentially, when you do this, you pay interest. Um, and what happens is that your ETH, or your Sacred ETH, or your collateral uh, gets put uh, on an AMM. And essentially, your ETH is added to this new curve. And there's, a, there's certain things that can happen. Now, this is the curve, an AMM curve, for those of you wondering. Uh, it's kind of the usual curve, you know, Uniswap V2 kind of thing. Anyway, um, so what happens if the price of your ETH or your collateral goes down? Well, obviously, if it goes down quite significantly, uh, you've got a big chance of getting liquidated. And that's kind of what happens um, with some of these other stable coins. Price goes down below liquidation price. You're liquidated. You don't even have a chance. You, you, you know, you might have to be up all night just trying to monitor your position if things are not going too well. If you've got some nasty wicks, you're screwed. You know, it's not really a safe it's not a good way really uh, and curve is basically fixing this by using the amm model so essentially what happens is if the price of eth goes down significantly what happens is some of the eth is actually sold off for crv usd essentially you're front running the liquidation uh, and uh, that means your risk of liquidation is really reduced you know as the price of eth goes down you're actually you know paying off some of that crv usd loan that you have similarly uh, as the price of Ethereum goes up or your collateral goes up, some of the CRV USD that you've actually borrowed is actually sold off for more ETH. So ultimately, the main aim of this is to reduce the risk with liquidation. However, it does come with some downsides. Of course, it does mean that, you know, your gain is going to be a little bit less. Uh, you might lose a little bit uh, in terms of slippage and things like that. So there is that to be uh, aware of, but this is all about safety uh, and the risk of liquidation is significantly reduced here. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much how it works. And uh, I think we're all looking forward to kind of utilizing it. There isn't really much that we can do just yet. Uh, things are still being sorted out. Uh, we're seeing some of the contracts just kind of come live. Uh, I did actually tweet about this, so I'll leave it somewhere on the screen now where you can kind of see me talking about adding liquidity in some of the different curve pools. Um, but what are the main benefits? Well, first of all, fees. Uh, we've got fees from the interest. Uh, that you know users pay but also when obviously ETH is going up or down in price and you know some of it's being sold or some of your CRV USD is being sold for ETH 
it's all creating lots of fees um, and so additional fees additional volume uh, and that is going to be particularly interesting especially w when we see some of the variety of collateral that we're going to have with CRV USD so for example if we've got collateral with stake frax ETH I mean we're going to see volume go up that means more fees and I think more interest in stake frax ETH potentially uh, and you know I think we're going to see the growth of kind of the partners of Curve of a, as a written at the bottom as well with the likes of frax convex um, conic and you know a variety of other protocols working or building very closely with curve um, uh, we'd like to see that this gives some extra value accrual to the curve token as well and um, I think one thing that we've seen especially following March where we saw the stablecoin DPEGs happening um, I think I think trust in kind of more decentralized stablecoins is uh, probably at an all-time high right now and probably I'd like to think that we see some level of stablecoin narrative, uh, especially for the decentralized stablecoin narrative. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, I hope that, ex you know, kind of explains briefly kind of how things work. Um, it's going to be exciting to see some of the different yields. I'm a yield farmer, so definitely catch farms of the month because we'll definitely be talking about the CRV USD there. I mean, maybe not this month, but maybe next month for sure. And um, yeah, uh, I'll leave a link to the white paper down in, this, in the description below. It's quite complicated. A lot of the maths goes over my head, but maybe some of you giga brains <laughs> will be better at understanding it than me. So that's all I've got for you today. Just wanted to talk about CRV USD. We're excited to see it. Uh, and uh, I'll have some more content about CRV USD in the near future. So smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with plenty more content in the near future.